If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain Is a place for people like you 
If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold When your day's down here through There's a place up there for people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for love so someone could be saved a place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. I believe when your day's down here or through, there's a place up there people like you
Hallelujah, oh my soul will sing. Hallelujah, oh my soul will sing. Hallelujah, oh my soul will sing. Hallelujah, 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 oh my soul will sing. Hallelujah. part right here you brought me over Lift it up. To help a stranger in the rain There's a place For people like you If you stand up For those down on their knees And lend a voice To those who cannot speak 
If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way. There's a place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. When your days down here or through, there's a place up there for people like you. If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve, and if you're trying to be the change you want to see, if you lay down your life for a love so someone could be saved. A place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold, and when you get there, there's a hand to hold. I believe when your days down here or through, there's a place. People like you
soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burdened be then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while sing us some Jamaican songs but if we sing them you gotta get out of those seats and you gotta dance like you're really from Jamaica or your parents were from Jamaica parents parents were from Jamaica but I want you to be true to who you are
goodbye world I stand no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stand no longer with you I made up my mind to go God's way The rest That's it I made up my mind to go God's way The rest of Come on, say it again Say it They say, born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Everybody say, born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Try again, say, born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Let me hear you say it now. Born, born, born again. Yes, sir. Thank God I'm born again. They used to say, Yes, I want to see him. Gonna look upon his face. There the same I am, Lord, ever Lord of the sea. Be praised, oh Lord, the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice.
And I won't turn back Because I want to see my Jesus Search for life's meaning Enslaved by the world and my greed Then the door of my prison was opened by love For I'm just a woman 
Help me believe in what I could be and all that I am. Oh, show me the stairway that I have to climb. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yes. When you walked among them, well, Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, that is worse now than then. Oh, there's pushing and shoving, and this ground. One day at a time, one day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I I'm 
is our occasion. But you are God, you know everything. And everything we leave into your hand, mighty God. And this afternoon, dear God, we ask God just have your own way. We ask God just touch, Lord, from bed to bed, from heart to heart. This afternoon, dear Father God, pray for if the family members of the mourn this afternoon. You say they shall, who shall mourn you, they, they shall comfort them. And you shall comfort them, mighty God. I will leave everything in your hand. And you know everything. Dear Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for the master of the world. Cheer me to understand. We ask God to say, no, I think we ask God to say, touch me, dear Father God. And God, we pray for the man of God who prepared himself to deliver the word. We ask God to touch him, dear Father God. Everybody speak. He said, touch, just say, God of heaven. And as best as you can, bless all coming together. As we pray and tell thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. So, indeed, let me use the opportunity to welcome you all to Grace Gospel Chapel. We are really happy to have you. We trust that as we go through this service, as indeed we do give you kind comfort in knowing that there is a God who reigns supreme. Just a bit of information, they Bathrooms are at the extreme back, so if you need to use the restroom, there are at the extreme back of the building. Those who will participate in the service, um, I would love to use the podium on my left. See? Those who are participating, use the podium on my left. Um, I must remind you that we are still in the house of the Lord. And because we are in the house of the Lord, there is a level of respect that is due to the outside. So we encourage once you're on these premises that you refrain from smoking or, or drinking or anything that will dishonor the name of the Lord. We need to remember that we are on holy ground. And we need to remember also that God is a jealous God. And He wants holiness. He requires holiness. So I must say to all of us that we try to have that level of reverence in the house of the Lord and on the grounds. Um, those who will participate, we ask that we be modest in what you say. We be modest. And um, whatever we do, we have to ensure that God gets the all the honor and all the glory. Let's try not to dishonor the name. Of the Lord. We move right into our program and we ask that those who will be participating that you stand close by as time is really against us. So we have a um, selection of a poem by Sandra Gordon, niece of the deceased. Following Sandra is the first lesson by Sandra. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra Gordon. I could 
dream you come back to life. They say, your love, your light, I remember you. I know someday, only God knows, when you, I'll touch your face and I'll breathe again. And life goes on, so until then, I remember you. Portion, for 
or who shall bring him to see what shall he be after him? Thank you very much for reading uh, the first list. I know it's, it's difficult for you to read it at your father's Thanksgiving service. We are going to take the tributes just now before we leave. And we're going to ask Mrs. McGill to do the first tribute followed by Pretty Separator. Hallelujah. Can you worship the Lord Church? Can you worship him another time? Yes, God is good. God is good. This evening, it is with mixed feeling that I stand to say a few words. Those of 
you who are here this evening, especially the young people, especially the young people, make sure that you know who holds your future. Life, we do not know where the wind will blow. But I'm saying to the young people this evening, let there be love spread among us. Probably love that is true. Because if we had love in our hearts, we wouldn't be having this service. Just remember, 
signs again until the ashes come away. My sin or the place of this glorious God. Well, I'm a little bit when I get in musician. Go ahead.
his discussion with friends, family, and others about his favorite football player team being Arsenal. With being a family man, he always ensured that his family was provided for, whether through troubling times or those of enjoyment. I remember my time when I journeyed to Panama, and it was expressed to me that I should use my fear to go ahead and buy a taxi or something nice, as my money never had to use it. Right. One of his ministers expressed that on your way home from Panama, when taking out the fear, he expressed, you try to have to go out fear. Also being the first one to be. He was also the one that was called, whether it was for the journey, celebrating birthdays, funerals, or even just a family trip, which we would take to enjoy for ourselves. On Wednesdays, when journeying to Bendong, and no taxis can be found, just call and say, Uncle, where are you? With being the pet of the family, he was taken care of by everyone, even those young and old. He was expressed as the best uncle by all of his nephews and nieces. As during through his years, he had been stuck to his favorite niece, or as she likes to call him, her brother, Sophia. Due to how close they were growing together and being born close also, they were considered twins even though being born from different mothers. Anywhere she was, he could also be found. The mother of his children and his kids expressed the happy moments that they had together. Specifically, his first child, Sanika, expressed the day that we, the family, enjoyed with him and they, it being her high school graduation. This is the moment we look back at past memories with his friends, we the family, and other loved ones. We the family would love for you to remember and share memories of our Santa or Supper. It's comforting to us as we know that there are others thinking of and mourning for the great man that he was. Fitzroy was loved by family, friends, and others as being a great taxi driver and just being able to have a happy time around others. His life is one that was full of adventure, life, struggles, enjoyment, and love. Santa, sufferer, Fitzroy, your years here have been great and we hope that your years in the afterlife are just the same. And it's a great day. As, a, as one of the best ways to be sent off from his favorite team, Arsenal, as they had provided a 2-1 win today with their match against Chelsea. We love you, Sansa, and we hope that you are just happy. Thank you. We take a second lesson. This time it's from First Corinthians chapter 15, 52 to verse 58. So then God grant us will do that lesson. If you didn't follow each other, we have a family song. So if you didn't follow the second lesson, the family will be doing. A reading from the word of God is written by First Corinthians 15, reading from the verse 52. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither though corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I sue you a misery. We shall not all sleep, but we all shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and the mortal
mortal shall have put on immorality, then shall be brought to the past, saying that it is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor will not go in vain in the Lord. A reading. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
and Sister Claudia Dixon attend. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We have been overrunning the second round of chairs. And I want to acknowledge the president, the council, the share of content, the vision of this department. We're all welcoming to um, the school chapel and to the service. I'm going to ask that the next school chapel be at Mr. Harper to bring his children. Followed by Brother Colin, then uh, Roma United from the United Order of Sahara, Brother Colin, and then Roma United. Good afternoon, sir. Appreciate you, Minister, Post Pastor, Brother Mullins, Brother Griffiths, and Smith, Officer of the Members of the Church. Very family. At this time, I give a like, uh, tribute for Mr. Fitzroy. Lord, he was a man with a sense of service. As a taxi operator, we know that the man with the best service is the one who generates more income. He was loyal and dedicated to his job. He was a man with a sense of work. He was a man with a sense of value. Value for his family, his children, friends. Another red, another associate as he goes by. In Ecclesiastes 3, it speaks of a season. A season, a time to build, and a time to tear down. Time to plant and a time to root up that which is planted. But this is a sad moment for the family. A sad moment in that whenever there is death, it's a time of grief and pain. It's the loss of a loved one. We want to mourn with you as friends. We want to mourn with the family. Sophia, Miss T. But in all of this, we want you to find comfort knowing that you have friends that you can lean on. There's a void that is left. And with our honored friendship and as a community, we will rally with you to ensure that this too shall pass. And we want you to find assurance knowing that we serve a God who is the God of the mountain the God of the valley. At this time, you're going through your valley. But one thing for sure, the Lord will never leave or forsake us if we only take things to Him in prayer. Sincerely hope and pray that the life of Mr. God will rest in peace and light perpetual shine upon Him. Thank you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Mr. Harper, Brother Colin. If not, Roma United Club. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Church. It is my great pleasure to be here this afternoon because of the family. This afternoon, the Lord give it and he take it. And I want to tell you, none of us, none of us that people here taking nothing out of this world. You come empty and you go back empty handed. Pull up before you to the time. Pray the Lord. This afternoon I want to tell you that God is not dying, He's still alive. And we have to give thanks today for standing on the pink and brown. I want to give 
gave also unto her husband. He took and he had, and they all went into sin. The sin of disobedience. Wherefore, Adam was taught by God. God used to come down in the cool of the day and have fellowship with Adam and Eve. But on this day when God came down, in the cool of the day, Adam and Eve could not be found where they are to be. God called Adam, where are thou? Not that God didn't know where Adam was. Because, let me tell you something, we cannot hide from God. We cannot hide from the presence of the Almighty God. It doesn't matter where you run to hide. You run but you cannot hide. There are many people in Jamaica today who seek to do wrong things and bad things and they try to run. But I'm here to remind us this afternoon that we cannot hide from God. The heights of God are in every place, beholding the healer and the good. We are having this Thanksgiving service here this evening because of somebody that thought that he could do something bad, take the life of this man and run away. But I'm here to say, even if that person is in this gathering this evening, you are wrong, but you cannot die. Because the heights of the Lord are in every place. The heights of the Lord are home in one. See the heathen, see the world. God's eyes are everywhere. And so when Adam answered God, he said, I heard thy voice, but I was afraid. Adam was afraid of the presence of God because he came under sin. He came under the punished position where he disobeyed God and he went out of fellowship with God. When a person goes out of fellowship with God, it causes it to be ashamed. If you check the church people, when a Christian sin, you as a brother sin, or you as a sister sin, you are so ashamed. You're not even want to meet your brother. You're not even want to meet your sister. Because sin brings shame. Adam was so ashamed that he went and hid himself from the very presence of God. But God was willing to restore him. God was willing to make another way. God was willing, as 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so, my friends, even though you have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. God is willing to forgive you. God is willing to make a new start with you. And I'm here to tell all the backsliders this evening, though you have wandered far away from God, God is still calling you to come and his fellowship with him. Praise the Lord. Yes, all on the sin. All the sinners come short of God's glory. All went astray. I said it for place in suffering. He took our place in death. He died and you and I might live. Yes, for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We try not to hear anything from us here this evening. Regardless of all that we are saying, he will not hear a word. Because his chapter where his life is concerned it is completed. Hebrews 9 27 tells us that therefore, as it is appointed unto men, wants to die. So this is an appointment that we all have. And when we step the last step of our journey, then death is saying, I'm here for you. My friends, we cannot hide from God and we cannot hide from death. The danger of all dying is that when you die without God. That's why we need to see the Lord in our lifetime.
We need to see God early. The Bible says, Young men, I write unto you because you are strong. He also said, See ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. None of us know when we are going to die. None of us know when the, the monster death is coming for us. And so, my friends, it is necessary to know that as by one man sin entered the world and death by sin, and so then pass upon all men, for that all have sinned. God has made humble provision. We born in our sins, we live in our sins, but you don't have to die in your sin. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. And providing tonight, this afternoon, you accept that you are a sinner. I am here to remind you that Jesus loves you. He wants to save you. He died and he was buried and he rose again so that you might be saved. So my friends, you need to take it into consideration because all of us, the Bible says all of us, because of sin, we are going to die one day. We are not here forever. None of us hold our lives. God is in control. And the earlier we come to Him and accept Him as Lord and Savior of our lives, then it will be better off for us where we go to spend our long eternity. Yes, my friends, because of sin, all are under sin. All are exposed to physical death, to eternal death. Out of your lives. And so this evening you have the grand opportunity to make right with God while you are alive. You cannot make right with God when the bread of life is taken out of your body. You got to see God in your lifetime. The Bible says, Seek ye the Lord while you may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the righteous man is called. And let him return unto the Lord, for he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Hallelujah. My friends, God will pardon you of your sin. It doesn't matter how great a sinner one might be, God is willing and ready. He says, Him that cometh to me, I will in you no know wise cast up. What a wonderful God he is. What a merciful God he is. Yes, my friends, can you think about the day when your body will be lying like a castle like this? And if your soul is not right with God, take into consideration where you will spend your long eternity. There are only two destinations for eternity a hell and a heaven. The, the big question is where we will spend. Your long eternity. Let me remind the church this afternoon, my friends, that if you sow the flesh, in other words, you just keep on living, you're born in sin, you live in sin, you die in your sin, there's no space in heaven for you. And guess what? Heaven is just ready to say, I'm here for you. It's not God's will that anybody should go to heaven. So this evening you can make right with God. This evening you can step over the line. This evening you can say, just as I am without one plea, but I can grant what strength for me, and that you bid me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. You don't have to die in your sins, my friend. Although all are under sin, but Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. He says, I come not to call the righteous, but sinners repentance. Are you here this evening, an unsaved person? Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to come into your life. He wants to transform your life. He wants to give you a real reason for living. And so I'm inviting you to trust Jesus now as your Lord and the Savior. I'm going to ask you to bow your head because where you are. Think about the time that is ahead of you. When you shall, when your body shall be placed in a testing land. Something like this. And you will be that person lying in a casket like this. 
you think where your soul will be at that time? You got to be right with God. Even while praying. Bow your heads. We're going to pray. Think about it, my friends. All of sin and come short of the glory of God. Think about where you will spend your love eternity. If it is not heaven, be sure you want to be heaven. And you don't want to go here to make right with the Lord. Right. Let us pray. Heavenly Father and our God, we pray for each listener this afternoon. What is the word of God reminding us? Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death falls upon all men. Grant, dear Father, dear God, that each listener this evening will decide now where they will spend your, your eternity. If it is with Jesus or the lake of fire, they will be right with God. Now we commit them to you, Lord, and the word of your grace. Lord bless you. Thank you for listening. Take into consideration where you will spend your long term. Thank you both of the day.
Santa Agony, he got his name for the most kind in the taxi world. If you are going to Parliament or vice versa and you not have any fear, just look out for Santa. You will never leave you. You say, why do sit down here in the van and be a little bit happy fear?
there are persons who are walking over. Persons who are walking over. And uh, continues to walk over. The service is not yet over. And it is kind of disrespectful for us to walk away, leave the family Monday and Sunday here. You know what You know what
My heart was distressed Neath Jehovah's dread frown And low in the pit Where my sins dragged me down
Father and our God, we thank you for this moment as we seek to put away the remain of its right to the ground. Lord, we just ask that you will grant us safety in Jesus' name. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. You can know the casket in me. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worm destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself and not another. For God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Yes, my friends, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I am the light of the world, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Come on, join you.
And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many have received him to them, gave him the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Um, put the... For as much as it has pleased Almighty God, in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of this wife, God, we therefore commit his body to the ground, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, earth to earth, ensure and certain hope of the resurrection. When the Lord shall come, those that have died in the Lord shall rise unto the resurrection of life. And those that have died out of God and Christ shall rise unto the resurrection of domination. Glory be to the Father, unto the Son, unto the Holy Spirit, as it were in the beginning, both now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. Okay, the workmen could go ahead and work as we go back to our program. And those of you at your program, we could sing the first hymn when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the sea of shall gather over on the other shore, and the holy star of yonder shall be there. When the holy star of yonder, when the holy star of yonder, when the holy star of yonder, when the holy star of yonder shall be there. On the bright and cloudless morning when the baby cries around And the glory of the resurrection and shed When the chosen one shall gather over on the other side And the holy star of yonder I'll be there When the holy star of yonder When the holy star Yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master come the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and fear. Then when all our flight is over and our work on earth is done, and the rule is gone up yonder, I'll be there. When the rule is gone up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Praise the Lord. I don't know, this is one of your programs, so we could have six of courses that we all know. No brain can hold my body down. And let us all sing as the workmen seek to do the work. No brain can hold my body down. 
go to class to get a DJ in the past for leisure. Something no last forever, yet no one forecast the weather. Me hear your voice of motivation, do you pass me, brother? Tell me, sing for me, the rest, see we class forever. Remember back in on the past life. Me, you are not the lyrics of cut like sharp knife. You tell me, me a star, and me say, alright. But you never live to see the star bright, cause life goes on. Family grieve, them all bereave, them never get to see the wonders of your sleep. And the greatness your mind conceive, John knows best. Let time go by. John knows best, as me live no vice to the most high. Oh, oh my, John knows best. So me, I try my best to cry. John knows best. So me, not quit. Why you want to die? Cause life goes on. Never wanna say that phrase. Never wanna sing that song. Yeah, me remember days when we used to fall in this young young. Never wanna say that phrase. Never wanna sing that song. Still I can remember days when we used to fall in this young young. Love 